Hi everybody, welcome to part two of my organization hacks video. Today I'll be organizing the other parts of my pantry as well as some cabinets below the sink and some drawers in the island. Let's get started. We'll start with the knife drawer. Our steak knives are conveniently placed here. Over here are the knife sharpening stones. Our bench scrapers, which are by the way life changing, are over here. And of course our Chinese chef knife and our Japanese chef knives are down by this way. Now onto the cabinet below that shelf in our island is the pans and larger appliances section of the kitchen. On the left are the frying pans. And on the right is the paella pan, the wok and a non-stick pan. Down below are the cast iron pans. And at the back is the instant pot, which we don't use as often. And out in front is our beloved stand mixer. Moving on to the cabinet just next to that one. And it's a big problem area in the kitchen. You guessed it, it's pots and lids. So over here we have our lid organizer. This is a super easy way to easily find your lids and you can grab it quickly because it's so well organized. Let's hope it stays this way. It just makes your kitchen organization look that much better. Up top we have our bin full of different ice trays. And as you can see here, we are big into ice because we do love to make our cocktails. There's our salad spinner as well as some oven mitts and oven gloves. And finally, these are our pots. Over here we have the tea cupboard. Hidden in this jar are the tea bags and right next to it is an owl mug I got my husband with tea strainers stacked on top. In front are the most used teas as well as the matcha and less used teas are hidden on the top section of this cupboard. As you saw in the last video, this is our final organized pantry. If you take a look at the top, we have our stuff that we haven't put into containers or jars yet just because we don't use it often enough. Here we have a bunch of mason jars and glass jars and then here we've organized our snacks and noodles into two separate bins. We used a spice riser to organize these spices, categorizing them by spices that look similar so that it looks visually pleasing. You would have seen this in my previous video. This is my favorite section of the pantry. This is the OXO or OXO containers and it's, as you can see here, organized by alphabetical order. Looking at the section down below, items that typically are not put in jars except for the pasta and the spaghetti, some extra chicken broth and oat milk. The other boxes that we have for that are in the basement. My favorite part of this whole thing is this Lazy Susan and I need more of these in my life because these are just life-changing. I've never used one before but this is the perfect fit and it's honestly so useful. Instead of having to reach back and knock things over, all you do is turn it around, grab what you need, put it back and it's done. I also like this um, container here. I got it from Winners and I think it was supposed to be for makeup or hair products or jewelry but I thought this would be perfect for some other random kind of goods that I wasn't sure where to put them. I just think it is organized quite nicely. I have some um, peanut butter and other nut butters back here. So this is some uh, pasta sauce and this is amazing gravy from Ikea for our meatballs that we buy from Ikea sometimes. Continuing the pantry organization, again another Lazy Susan over here for our different beans and we have more beans as well downstairs in the basement in our cantina or cellar if you're not Italian. And then here we have just like again more packaged stuff that we can't really place into jars like whole tomatoes, coconut oil and more coconut oil but in a spray version. Back here are things we don't really typically use. It's the rose water and orange blossom water. Here is our honey and sugars, um, different types of honey in here and sugar, a bunch of tuna cans and sardines. And this section is very much used. It's our plastic wrap, sandwich bags and stuff like that. And then down here is our container organization. And again, this is super useful to have for your containers because before we never had this and the container uh, lids were just all over the place. Uh, it was very hard to find the proper lid for the right container. These lid organizers make life easier and it makes it look prettier too. Another area I want to focus on is this coffee slash cocktail area. 
So as you can see here, we use these for different cocktail mixes and uh, put it on different spirits and things like that. Here is the Moscow Mule mug that I also got my husband. I think we've only used it a couple of times, but I really do like the way it looks. These are our little tiki stir sticks. My husband is obsessed with them. We have a lot. This is another cute mug I got from David's Tea that I just love the way it looks. Some more mugs, some glasses. This is one of our favorites. It's very thick and it's quite heavy and we just love it for cocktails, coffee, anything like that. And these little sip espresso cups are from my friend Narmina for our housewarming gift. Well, actually it was for our condo housewarming gift when we moved in. We are in the process of reorganizing this drawer. This is our coffee and my husband is obsessed because he not only put the name of the coffee but also when it was roasted. And this is a pull-out drawer that is a little bit... There we go. But there's like nothing in here so we have to figure out what goes in here. These are just some empty glasses that my husband will use for his cocktail concoctions. This is our olive oil. We love our olive oil in this house some coffee. This is where our potatoes go, but unfortunately we have to go grocery shopping and buy some potatoes. Some extra coffee that's in bags. Alliums, such as, you know, onions and garlic. Espresso machine cleaning supplies. So this uh, includes citric acid and then espresso towels. So these are just towels that we use for our espresso, for coffee and for milk. On to some drawer organization. Because this drawer is next to the sink, we have commonly used items here. This is my vegetable and fruit cleaning brush. I'm pretty sure you guys know all of these things and what they're used for. I just like that it's organized uh, into these kinds of drawers and everything fits perfectly. Sometimes all you need is a little wooden divider to get things separated. I love this little area for our microfiber cloth as well as the dishwashing pods. These two things fit perfectly just under the sink. So I just went to the store and I bought a bunch more new spice jars from Canadian Tire. So these are the exact same ones that I had from last week's video, the Ikea haul. But these are smaller in size and I got them at Canadian Tire for 99 cents each, which is an awesome find because they match very well with the Ikea ones. The other wonderful thing that these little spice jars come with is this little sprinkler hole system that helps when you're using just a very small amount, just like a little sprinkle of Hondashi, for example, or sprinkles, actually. So this works perfectly for things like that. That way you don't have to grab a spoon and uh, take out a certain amount. You kind of just sprinkle on top. Let's continue the kitchen organization hacks. To take your spice game to the next level, rejar all of your spices into the same container, making it uniform, and label the containers. It looks way cleaner and easier to grab at. It also elevates the organization of your kitchen. What I did here was I organized the spices in alphabetical order. Getting your spices cleaned up is really game changing. This type of decorative organization really elevates the look of your kitchen, and it'll make your kitchen look that much better. Another small thing you can do to organize your kitchen is to organize your cups and plates. As you can see, my glasses are organized by this divider here, which is very affordable and so functional. What I did here is I organized in the same way the plates from the bowls and up top again smaller sized plates and smaller sized bowls. I have my little pinch bowls up here. And over at the top, I have items that I don't use as often and then some cookbooks as well. Onto the glass pantry above the sink. Right in the middle, we have our Bless This House little decoration sign that we got from our friend as a housewarming gift. And to the sides are the Dutch oven as well as our different bowls. And inside there are more bowls. In the middle rack are some tea items such as little teacups and teapots. Over at the top are some more cookbooks and lots of different coffee items. Above the microwave is the little cocktail area. And in order to maximize the space, we made sure to stack it in order of how often we use it. So at the bottom here, we use those a lot more often, whereas at the top are just different cocktail mixes that my husband made and we don't use them as often. This cabinet in particular, I'm very proud of because I find it's always a pain in the butt to organize any cabinet underneath the sink just because it's a 
kind of awkward shape and there's no drawers you know under the sink so i find it's quite difficult to place everything in a nice and neat fashion but what i've done here is i've divided it into different bins so for instance over here are some of our towels these are dish towels these are hand towels over here are microfiber cloths that we use to clean all the counters with uh, here are just some cleaning products such as dish soap, goo gone, um, dishwashing solution, as well as sponges and things like that. Over here is our compost bags and more dishwashing pods and garbage bags as well are over here and uh, over this way. And some gl gloves that I use to clean dishes with and also our kosher salt super random but we have nowhere else to put it it's quite large and it fits well in this area back here we have a big bottle of apple cider vinegar again it's very bulky and large so I tend to keep it in the uh, under the sink area we also have all-purpose cleaner and Windex back there too another idea that I've seen a few people have is putting hooks on this area and keeping microfiber cloths there instead of down here but we had space for it so I didn't think that we needed extra hooks. Another solution is there are some shelves or uh, drawers that you can actually buy that fit under sinks that you can pull out and keep more stuff in there but we didn't again necessarily need it because I find that this space is quite large because we have a fairly large sink so there is quite a bit of space down there too. And now moving on to a very important drawer in the kitchen and that's the cutlery and utensil drawer that tends to always get used quite a lot and it gets messy very easily. So I got the solution for you. And here is that drawer in our island. So as you can see here we have our smaller sharper knives, we have a can opener, some various types of spoons, and our box graters that we got from Ikea. And here are some elastics. Also, as a side note, I am obsessed with these little cute spoons and I don't remember where I got them. So if you know where I can get cute spoons like this, please comment down below. And these drawers here, I also have organized quite extensively. Again, I purchased uh, these dividers from, I believe, Kitchen Stuff Plus or Winners, HomeSense, one of those two. And basically, I've put some things here that we very commonly use when we are cooking on the stovetop. So this is a thermometer for meat and fish. This is a fish spatula and a regular spatula, garlic press, scissors, vegetable peelers, measuring spoons and measuring cups, as well as pancake. I use this typically for pancakes, but you can use it for pretty much anything. Yesterday, I used this for glazed carrots that I was roasting in the oven. And this is just like an extra towel to hold like a pot towel. Next, these are again extensively used here because I like to do the mise en place, preparing all the vegetables and ingredients in here. Here are just different funnels that we use and a measuring cup under here, as you can see. And here we have little bowls and more measuring cups. And down here are all of our colanders and some Le Cousette baking dishes. And unlike my Russian mother, I do not keep a bunch of pots and pans in the oven because I actually use the oven pretty much on a daily basis. However, this area here, I use to store um, random baking dishes, you know, for cakes and pies and muffins and cupcakes and things like that. And this area, I'm using it as my junk drawer or things that I need when I leave the house. So we have our sunglasses here, our garage key, car keys, wallet, water bottle, Purell sanitizers, and masks. Up here are some lozenges, band-aids, cleaning supplies, and medicine cabinet. I have to reorganize that. I gotta buy some more, I think, organizational uh, tools for that. And then some cookbooks up there. The way to organize olive oil is you get these beautifully, aesthetically pleasing jars. And I find that it looks so much better than having it in a large container with like olive oil written on it. So this is our avocado oil. This is our olive oil. And this is infused olive oil with some garlic and lemon rind. Above the stove, I find it's always a good idea to have a spoon rest instead of using paper towels to place your spoons or spatulas on when you're cooking. So I find this like a perfect spot for something like a spoon rest. And also on the stove, we have some cute plates that we can use as another type of spoon rest or for tea bags. And we have our salt and pepper owl shakers, as well as some coasters. I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can organize your kitchen as well.
Why is all this like white film on here? I don't know. What is all that? It doesn't. There's like white film everywhere. Oh, it does gotta make worse film. Yeah. Right, so we're eating popcorn. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a quick one, but I did put a lot of work into organizing this kitchen and I didn't want to film the mundane task of actually organizing everything so I thought it would be better to just show you guys the end result. Follow me on Instagram at Greco Recipes and make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you enjoy organizational videos. Bye, have a great day! Oh, 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 o